Welcome back to my studio. It's Barbara Borkhart, and I've started another painting about the circus, which I saw over the summer. Now, um, previously I had done a tightrope um, painting about the acrobats performing on a high wire above the crowd, and you watched a woman lift herself onto the shoulders of a man that was supporting her, which I thought was pretty terrific. Now I'm doing an aerialist who will perform in the air, basically holding on to yards and yards of fabric with her arms, well not really with her arms, with her wrist and her hand and her ankles. So this is the aerialist that we've started. This is oil on paper and um, she is on an angle. She's in a full split. One arm is wrapped behind her holding on to the fabric basically by wrapping it around her wrist. And her legs are flexed with the feet back and the fabric is wrapped around where her foot meets her ankle. And that is how she is supporting herself up in the air. And it's very dramatic and she goes through this split and then comes on down. These are the spotlights which are aiming at her. So what I have done so far is I have blocked in the entire painting um, the negative space which is dark blue which is really the top of the tent that you see from where I'm shooting and um, these are the lights which are aiming at her and will illuminate parts of her so we're going to go from here and see where it goes and hopefully you'll feel the energy of her split pulling apart against the tension of the fabric so you get this wonderful open tension pull that pulls you from one side of the page to the other and then brings you down to the bottom. And a little more work on the aerialist. You can see her. She's got her feet into a wide split and she's holding on to this fabric which is literally holding her in the air. Her weight is supported by twisting it around her ankles and her wrist and she is suspended high above the audience down below. Now what I've done is made the negative space, which is the area behind her, it doesn't have anything that you can touch in it, darker, so that she literally pops out. These are spotlights, which I've suggested where their presence is, which will shine on her and illuminate certain parts of her, um, like her fabric coming down here and the mere fact that she is in this split pulling way across. Now here is another pool of light down at the bottom. So you get all this pattern kind of effect here, pulling you up, pulling you across, pulling you down. So there's activity going on and you see the aerialist taking shape up in here. You can see I've worked on the lights a little. They're beginning to glow. They're sending out light onto the performer. They're going in lots of different directions. This one hasn't been done yet because I believe the ground is still wet. Um, the glow, which is sort of yellow in here, will turn brighter and illuminate the scarf or the fabric, which holds her up, and the performer. So the lights will go this way, this way. There's a light coming up in here because there's pools of light down here. And there's a light somewhere over here that's seeping across onto her. Remember the circus, the audience is all the way around her on different sides. So she's illuminated from all different sides so she can be seen and no side is in darkness. Now I've chosen to do circus performers because I find them particularly interesting. First of all, um, the circus is dark and you are watching an illuminated athlete who has great control over their bodies. Now she is holding herself up. Her arm is merely decorative. It's lightly in back of her, holding on probably to steady her um, for the top part of her body. Her entire body, since she is in a split, is held up by wrapping her feet and her ankles around the fabric so that the tautness of the fabric holds her up and she is very strong in her legs. 
This is a full split, and the tension produced by the split against the fabric coming down holds her up. So you get this huge diagonal going across, which has been enhanced by this light shining this way, and the drapery of the fabric, which starts out really tight up here, as tight as this is in here, and then gently floats towards the bottom. So you get a contrast between a strong angle and then this gentle sweeping arc, which pulls you down and around and back up. So there's lots of contrasts here. There's a contrast between the straight angle and the softness of the fabric draping, between the bright heat of the lights and this very dark tent ceiling, which makes it more interesting for me to paint and hopefully for you to view. Finished the aerialist, the painting, on paper. She's here in all her dynamic form, in her full split, with her legs stretched out. All her strength is coming from the pelvic area, her solar plexus, her stomach muscles are holding her legs out. And by flexing her feet, she's made the fabric very taut, and it's supporting her weight. Her hand is just keeping her from tilting this way or that way. So you get this, you go down, and the lights pull you back up. Here's the close-up. This is the full view of the painting. Now I'm going in tighter on the fabric, which almost appears to look like an upside down flower falling over against the lights. This is the figure. You can see her hair is illuminated by the spotlight. Her feet, her ankles are really what's holding everybody up with the fabric wrapped around them. All her strength is coming from her middle, her solar plexus. Her hand really is resting, keeping her upright. She's very strong. She's very dynamic. There's the finished painting, and just to give you an idea of what it looks like together. Here's the tightrope walkers. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see what else we can do from the circus.